Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Fantasy Lighthouse Show. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I know that I have a lot of inspiring models on here. We have rappers, singers, actors, actresses, photographers, film directors, architects, so many creators on here. And so I wanted to provide you with a video that gives you further insight into what the spirit is looking for you to do moving forward. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at that. To book a private session, all that info can be found in the description box below of this video. All right, let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the creators. What messages do you have for the authors, the writers, the artists? What do you have for them? Okay, so I just feel that in a time where you're trying to pursue your dreams, you may feel like there are energies around you, especially the closest people to you that are not as supportive as they should be. But a lot of that's going to happen because you are awakening a lot of insecurities within these people. They weren't able to acquire the type of success that you either have right now or you're getting ready to receive, okay? Because of certain responsibilities in life and, and certain obstacles that may have gotten in the way when it came to those other people trying to acquire their level of success, when they see you doing it and actually accomplishing something, they're going to have a lot of shit to talk. Let's be honest. But we don't care about what they have to say, right? Because you need the haters to talk shit and you need the positive people as well. You need the yang and you need the yang, all right? And so you need to be reminded that these people are just going to fuel you to keep working harder, okay? When you're at the top, you're going to have trolls anyway. And you have to learn how to ignore the negativity right now because it's going to be even more of all of that. So um, there's no need to wonder if you've chosen the right dream to pursue. I feel like you have, but for some reason, there's not enough support, okay? And that's okay. For right now, if you have just one person that supports you, that's all you need, okay? So you wanna keep pushing forward. And if some of you guys need to go to like a spiritual retreat to feel better, a lot of my clients do it, I think that that's the best thing for you to do. All right. So you want to look into being around groups of people that have a similar mission as you. Tell me more. We have earth energy and water coming out here first. All right. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Tell me more. All right. So this is speaking to the fact that there could be a certain connection that's holding some of you back. Now, I don't know if that's a friendship or a love interest that you have. Perhaps you and this person have a very stable, secure living situation, but your heart is not in it. You're just there because, you know, it's smooth sailing, right? but your dreams are not there. This person is not helping you to acquire your dreams. So therefore, a lot of you need to break free from a connection or a certain contract that isn't working, all right? Whether it's a friendship or, you know, this could be just a toxic neighbor that you have next to you. There's just something that you need to move away from so that you can further pursue the dreams that you've been trying to go after, you know? I feel like there's some of you that might have given up on a passion of yours because of being in a contract with someone that doesn't support what you do only because they don't want you to outshine them in some way or, you know, they want you to be beneath them when you are meant to be more than that. You're not meant to be isolated. You know, you're not meant to be in a capsule, all right? I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be breaking free from certain people that you feel are limiting you. And now is when you're like gaining this awareness, this eye-opening experience. It's like, 
why do I continue to stay in this place? This place is holding me back, right? A lot of you guys are kind of saying that. And so I feel that you're going to be moving. A lot of you guys will be relocating. It doesn't matter if you're moving up the street, like, <laughs> you know, I feel like that's what needs to happen for a lot of you to get back on this path of pursuing your dreams. OK, and never mind all of the gossip, because in the pre-shuffle, I was getting a lot of five of wands energy. So that's competitors, you know, people that see what you're doing and, and they trying to, you know, see if they can match up and see if they can. They can't do what you do. They can copy. Right. But then whenever people look at them, they're going to be reminded of you. So they should find their own way of being creative. So let them watch. Let them be a part of the audience where they belong. Okay? Because they spend a lot of time talking about what you're doing. But that's why they're watching right now. That's exactly why they're watching. Because they see what's happening. They see the momentum that's building and it's making them anxious. So either they're going to rock with it or they're just going to stay in the audience. All right. And then they can try to get in contact with you for a ticket. And I don't know if you're going to allow them to enter. I don't know if, if you're going to do that. That's going to be completely and entirely up to you. Any other messages for the entertainers? The Knight of Wands energy. Keep going. Keep going with all of this passion, with all of this fire, with all of that vigor, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming out here. There may be a fire sign that's going to be assisting you with this process. This fire sign does not have to be a lover, okay? At all, okay? If that's not the sun sign of the person, then this individual could have fire in their chart. Like for me, for an example, I'm a Taurus sun, so I'm an earth sign sun, but I am a fire moon and a fire rising. So I'm a Leo moon, Leo rising. Some of my clients already know that. And I actually have one of my clients that's an author and her and I share the same, you know, three signs there. And she knows exactly who she is, you know? So um, just don't stop dreaming, all right? Some of you are moving, I see that here. You're relocating and you're breaking away from someone that is just not on the same page with you when it comes to fulfilling your dream. I see that happening. All right, I wanna thank you for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.